Hi everyone, Mike McKay here and I'm coming to you from up at beautiful Hume Lake. Yeah, here we are up here in this wonderful, beautiful place up in the Sierras and uh, Hume Lake is a great place to be. Actually, right behind me is the Christian camp there. Uh, we've been bringing kids up there for many years and if you go around the lake over here and see the beauty around us, there's the uh, water restrainer back there. They don't call it a dam because it's a Christian camp, so it's called a water restrainer. So anyways, but it's it's great time. I'm, we had the opportunity. Our kids come up here every year except for this year. COVID-19 has kind of taken that away from us, but we are uh, just excited to have the opportunity. Christy and I had the opportunity to come up here, and it's a wonderful place. You know, Hume Lake is a very special place in my life. I've been coming up here since I was a high school student. I haven't missed a year. Every year I've come up here for just a day or two, and uh, it's been a wonderful place. Actually, it's a kind of sacred place for me because I made a lot of important decisions, not only important decisions when I was a student about my relationship with God, but also times when I've tried to sought God over decisions in life. And the truth is that we need times like that. We need times to pull away and times to really uh, listen to God. And it doesn't have to always happen at a place like Hume Lake. It can happen anywhere. Hume can happen at home, that is sense of being connected with God. But how can you not connect with God with all the beauty around you and the beautiful trees and all that's around you? But, you know, the truth is, is that even in the crazy times like we're in, and it's, it's, it's been crazy. We've had seen so much upheaval and not only with uh, uh, social unrest but also with this coronavirus things being canceled and readjusted and it's been difficult and there's a lot of tension and struggle in life and we need times when we can just pull away and hear from God to be able to uh, understand and, and get direction and that's really what Hume Lake is for me but, it, but like I said it can happen all over. You know it's, it, it's interesting the disciples were struggling with life and, and they were worried about life in Matthew chapter 6 with what to wear what to eat and all of that and, and Jesus was saying where is your faith guys? Uh, why do you have such little faith? thinking that uh, uh, God doesn't care for you. Look at the birds of the air, he cares for them. Look at the lilies of the field, he adorns them with such beauty. And he's gonna do the same for you. And here's the secret, it's, here's the key. It's Matthew 6, 33. It says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things you worry about will come into its place. To seek first the kingdom of God is to put Jesus in that place of, uh, of lordship and leadership in our life, where he's the one who's calling the shots in our life. Not ourselves, but him. And that takes a tremendous amount of trust. That's why in, in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it reads this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. It takes a trust, a, a trust in God, to, to, not in ourselves, not in society, not in the news. And oh my gosh, there's so many conflicting things happening in the news these days. We really need to find a place where we can trust the truth of God is that place and to trust in him. And I encourage you to take some time, pull away. You may even be able to come to a beautiful place or maybe your backyard or, or, or even just a, a alone in your room or, or whatever and just focus on God, center on him. Seek his leadership and lordship and, and trust in him with all of your heart and it will, it will make a difference. It'll make a wonderful difference. Yeah, Hume Lake is a great place. You know, one of the things I love about Hume Lake is, uh, is I, I love to come and smell the trees. This is a ponderosa pine. And, Oh, when you smell that tree, now you're probably thinking Mike's gone a little crazy, but no, that's the smell of the ponderosa pine. Some of them call them vanilla pines. They're huge, huge trees, and they put off an incredible, incredible smell. Some people say it smells like chocolate chip cookies or, or cookies, but it's, it, it, it smells like vanilla. It's actually called vanilla pines in some places, but these things, and I know, I know I'm crazy. These people are watching me. I really do smell trees. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, I'm going to go around the lake again and just uh, enjoy that time. But thanks for taking a moment to be with me. God bless you. Have a great day. Oh, I could smell all day this tree.